Okay, today I have another car for you. This one is 2016 Range Rover Evoque. So, if you're interested in one of these cars and uh, you're not very good at inspecting a car, well, I'll show you some steps and tips that you can follow to try and know if at least you're looking at a good deal and if it's worth taking to the next step, which is to your mechanic, so he can tell you f further uh, about the car. Um, we're gonna start with the exterior condition. Make sure there is enough bright light around the car and that the car is clean. In this case, it's very dirty. Um, so you can have an idea on the actual state of the paint. We're gonna go around anyway. Uh, take a careful look at the gaps within the, between the doors and the panels. Make sure everything is well aligned. And in this case, everything looks in order. I'm not really happy that the car is dirty. Uh, but other than that, looks very fine. Next, take a look at the tires. Make sure you have enough tread and they're, they're not cracking. In this case, we have winter tires. Um, the mags looks all right. Make sure you ask for the summer tires. Do they have them? or not next i suggest to look at the windshield make sure it's not cracked and that uh, it's clean this case looks good we have here a panoramic roof uh, on this car it doesn't open so just make sure that it looks all right and it looks all right I'm gonna go ahead and say that the exterior condition has been checked. Now my pen is not working, so sorry for that. Next is the engine condition. For this test, start the car and listen. It seems to me like that there is a slight vibration um, from the engine, but it might be normal. Other than that, there is no exhaust leak. Smoke coming out from the exhaust looks uh, normal. Nothing to be scared of here. Open the hood. Okay. I can hear something clicking. It doesn't sound scary, but I can't say for sure that it, that it's normal. I have seen many, many cars uh, like BMWs and Mercedes with the four cylinders uh, with this kind of ticking noise, which apparently might be normal. However, I don't like it much. I would personally not buy this car until I make sure that I can hear the same noise on at least two or four more Evoque. So right now I can't tell you for sure that this sound is normal. But I'm not sure. Anyway, there is no smoke car all around the engine. Nothing seems to be leaking on the floor, so everything looks good there. Uh, while the hood is open, look for, uh, around for all the bolts. Make sure they are in place, that they look like, they, they look right for this car. Everything is aligned, everything looks good and normal. It's very clean in here. I have nothing to say. Now, when I put my hand on the engine, 
I can definitely feel the vibration that I was talking about when I was in the car. So I, I do believe there might be something wrong. I don't know for sure. Alright, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and say that the engine condition has been checked over here. Alright, now the interior condition. For this one, start on the doors with the panels. Look at the leather in this case. Everything looks good. Check out the seats. They look firm and in a mint condition. Look at the rear as well. Everything looks fairly clean. Open the trunk. Alright, it has the manual automatic opening. Um, very clean in here. This is here. At least it's there, that's good. Try and close back the door, pressing on the button. Closes well on its own. So that's good. Open and close the windows, make sure they all work, which they do, that's nice. Next, the wipers. Alright, so I, I have the, only the rear wiper which is working. But the front one, not working. So that's very important. Say you, you get out from the dealer, it's, this is a dealer car. If you get out from the dealer and on the highway, the windows get dirty very quick, very fast in the winter. That is almost something very dangerous. So I wouldn't get out from the dealer with, with the wipers not working. Next, put the car in reverse. This car comes equipped with, the, with a rear view camera. Make sure it works. It does. Try and turn on the radio. Radio works. Uh, try the heating system. Now heating works as well, that's good. Uh, in winter, obviously you can test the, the AC and um, sometimes it, it even won't turn on even if you try because uh, it will sense that the car is already cold so there is no need to turn on the compressor um, really the only way to test the AC, con um, the AC system is to take the car to a dealer or to a mechanic make sure to ask them to verify if the system works um, everything else so I'm going to go ahead and say that the interior condition has been checked next is the test drive one of the most important tests you can do is drive the car so take your time make sure you drive the car uh, until at least it uh, heats up to normal operating temperature Oh, it's the gauge is over here. Um, take it in city, test the brake. Take it on the highway, test the stability. Um, make sure there is no noise, nothing that seems out of the ordinary. Uh, if the salesman wants uh, to stick with you on the right, make sure he remains uh, quiet as much as possible. You wanna focus on uh, any detail. Also, turn off the radio, make sure there is no, nothing that can hide any small noise from the test drive. In this case, cars drives good. I'm gonna go ahead and say that the test drive is done. Next is the mileage condition. So you have checked the car all around, you've driven the car. And now you should have a, a good idea on the mileage of the car. In this case, I have 99,000 kilometers. 
um, which I believe could be right. I have nothing to say about it. So seems fair and seems seems normal. Go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and say that the mileage has been checked. Next is a VIN ID check. You really don't want to end up buying a stolen car. Uh, the police will take it back and they won't help you take your money back. So, locate the VIN plate on the driver's side. Try to remove it by hand. Now, this one you can see here. It, I can only remove the, the kind of plastic around it. It seems, it seems legit. Although you can remove something from it it's it seems legit to me you should not be able to remove it easily and I, this is not easily you can see that half of it removes the other knot so I'm pretty convinced it's the original plate for it uh, if it's too easy to remove if, if it feels like a, a, a sticker then it you could be having you could be dealing with a, a cloned car now check the VIN on this plate compare it with the one on the window which in this case is hiding behind this behind the snow so make sure this one also looks right and it hasn't been tempered with so I'm gonna go ahead and say that the VIN is checked Next is the cluster light. For this test, turn off the car and put it back in AC mode. Or if you have a push start, you only press once on the... but without starting the car. So, here we want to look for all the lights. For example, we have the check engine over here, parking brake, the battery, uh, turn it off, put it back on without starting the engine. We have the traction control which was over there, airbag. So if everything seems there, you can start the car. The IBS light is over here. Everything looks there. Start the car, make sure everything turns off. Uh, this is the parking brake which is still on. We have my, my seal belt, seat belt which I haven't put on. Um, we need petrol. And this is, I think it's telling me that outside it's, it's cold and I, I should be careful since it's winter. Um, it's normal. So everything looks right. Well, what could happen is, for example, the check engine is on. Some people may remove the cluster break the LED light which is behind the check engine so it doesn't light up anymore um, and hide this information from you now in this case everything lights up so I know that if there was a problem uh, the check engine is available to tell me anyway everything looks good I'm gonna go ahead and check that the cl cluster light has been checked Overall, I think th this car is pretty in a fair condition. Obviously, I wouldn't take it before they fix the front windshield wipers. Um, I just don't like how the engine was shaking at first, but since uh, the car is at normal operating temperature, since the engine is hot, uh, it seems like it has been it has gone away a little bit. So it's it seems it it's, it became a bit normal. So, since the engine uh, reached its operating temperature, uh, it's vibrating less. I, I think it's normal, but I would definitely not buy it until I test others, evoke, and uh, make sure that they, uh, they all sound the same. Just to be reassured a little bit. Now, don't forget before you go and check any car, to look on the internet for uh, common issues um, for here for instance it's talking about uh, faulty control arms uh, you can check ahead 
So make sure that the, there's if if sometimes there's something that that you can actually check while you're testing the car. Some other things uh, it's gonna be it's gonna have to be checked uh, with your garage or your mechanic. Uh, it's always interesting to know what people have experienced with the same car. So go ahead on the internet and look around before you go and test the car. So I hope this video was helpful and um, I wish you to find good cars. So thank you for watching.